Okay, in this problem, we want to find the curl of the vector field x squared times y, comma, y times z squared, comma, z times x squared. And we will use this formula. When we solve it by hand, we use this. But, you know, since we're using a ti, we can do this easily. So we will say, uh, we'll define p is defined as, this would be our p term. So x squared times y. Then we do q. q is defined as, it's going to be the middle one. So y times z squared. And then we do pqr. So r is defined as um, z times x squared. And next, we're we can just, oh, almost there. We write curl would be, this is going to be our answer. We use square brackets to represent vectors, and we follow this. So we want the partial derivative of r in terms of y. So we do shift minus, we will write uh, y, r, like this, minus uh, shift minus, it's going to be uh, z for q, comma, we will do the exact same thing. Shift minus, we have uh, z for p minus, uh, shift minus, we have x for r, comma, uh, shift minus, we have x for q, and one more, minus, shift minus, we have a uh, a y for p. Now let's just make sure we wrote everything correctly. So we have uh, dy for r, dz for for q, uh, dz for p, dx for r, uh, dx for q, and then uh, dy for p. So simply hit enter, and this would be our answer. So minus two uh, yz comma minus 2xz comma negative x squared. And that's all we need to do. So let me expand it in case you missed a step. And that's it.